So let's have a look at Fedora Rawhide running DD or the deep in desktop environment. So out of the box, deep in desktop environment looks gorgeous. You don't need to like pretty much tinker with it. It looks beautiful as it is. If you want, you can like you have the options to customize it further. So this is how the default DD installation looks. So I just downloaded the Rohad ISO. I just picked Fedora. Like I just picked the deep in desktop environment and I installed it. That's all I have done. So as you can see here, we have our terminal. So it's having like small animations and all these things. So here you can choose whichever theme you want. So let's stick with ocean dark for now. So we can do like uh, df-h to see how much resources it's consuming. So it's consuming like somewhere shy of five gigabytes of drive space. So it's a relatively small distribution considering like it's light considering the amount of packages it's having. So you can see, I'll show you in the meantime. Then if you do a free dash H, you can see how much amount of RAM it's using. So it's using like 560 megabytes of RAM. So I have allocated like three gigabytes of RAM. So I just wanted to test how well this works on a like low resource system. And if you open up your terminal again, you have uh, tabs over here so you can open up like multiple tabs over here so that's that then this is your menu so by default it will look like this so if you want you can click this expansion so if you click that it's going to be like uh, it's going to look like the gnome menu so that is that you can navigate these things like you can open up something if you want like for example you can open up the control center so control center gives you access to your all your setup like here you have your accounts if you want you can add a user account or remove a user account i think i'm not sure whether yeah you have the option to remove user account over here then have your display setup resolution brightness display scaling refresh rate then you have your default applications browser email all these things then you have your personalization here you can change your like accent colors if you want so let's go with something like yellow for example so it's having like dark mode auto mode which switches according to time i think and you have your light mode and you have your icon theme so by default it's having like lots of icon themes installed so you can pick whichever you want from here and you have like three cursor themes like bloom bloom dark and default advaita so you have your fonts so by default it's going to have something like noto sans so i have set it to comforta then if you want you can tinker with something else like i'm not sure what i want to apply over here what is that and you have your network options here you can like configure your network dsl mm, upn you can have like system wide proxy application proxy if you want and your network details and all these things so you have your notification setup you have like your web browser like you can specify whichever app want to have like particular notifications like if you enable want to enable sound or something you can do that over here and you have your sound audio like audio input and output setup and you have your date and time setup so by default out of the box i'm not sure whether this enables ntp no ntp is turned off by default so have your power options you have like balance and power saver i don't see a performance option over here mm, like then you can customize uh, like display suspend sleep mode all these things then you can have like if you click that this one will change your left and right 
mouse buttons so if you are left handed you can do that mm, you can customize your pointer speed natural scrolling all these things keyboard and language you can set your locale and all this information over here system language you can create shortcuts over here control alt t opens up your terminal yeah it works so that's that so if you do an alt and f2 you have uh, the terminal quick view so this one that's nice so you have a launcher so if you hit super key your launcher will appear so this is your application launcher and you can go through this if you want and here you can see the system info so out of the box i didn't see anything inside the end user license agreement so that's blank your edition license i think this is like fedora's I'm not sure whether this one belongs to fedora or the deep in desktop that that and you can see this is running fedora 35 rawhide and deep in desktop environment so not sure how this thing works request root access mm. i already have root permissions because i already have a root account set up then you have your file manager so it's a gorgeous looking file manager you can see like there's nothing to say about it you can see like you have theme set up over here also you can have like uh, customize the settings and all these things if you want you have like loads of if you want to go back to classical start menu start you can click this and it's going to be like this have like loads of applications installed by default so you are having your system monitor so if you open that up you're going to have like your resource utilization like it's going to tell you how much ram it consumes your data transfer rate your disk read and write the service is running so this is having like an option to kill restart or stop a service depending on your use case so you can just right click and like instead of using system ctl start system ctl stop you can like technically you can do right click start stop restart so that is that oh you can have view according to the user and you can see all process for the current user you can see all all these things so now the next thing is we have an image viewer i don't have any images in this system so if you right click over here you can see you have a fashion mode and efficient mode so if you click fashion mode it's going to change like this if you click like efficient mode it's going to look like this and if you right click if you check for wallpaper and screen savers you can see like you're having like some amount of wallpaper so if you want to set something you can click this you can set only desktop or only lock screen whichever you prefer then not sure like this thing is having like color picker keyboard options calculator i'm assuming that's deep in calculator yeah that is deep in calculator so the next thing i just wanted to check was do net start tp need to enter the password so i'm seeing some thing over here which is not having like a process name or pid name so i'm curious what it is and where it is from just going to copy that just going to open up the browser the private window something 
Ich kann ab. So I'm just going to do like who is so it's like define who this is so find IP address I'm just going to enter the IP address we found from this and not sure what process it is and I'm not sure like here you can see it's not having a PID or program name or something it's just communicating to the world so it belongs to an advertising company in China so that is that so you can see like let me minimize this so that you can see like This one it's communicating to this one so I'm not sure how that works out I'm not sure whether it's a mirror thing or something somebody tell me so I just found out like even if I have like everything closed I just have my terminal open system is having like some sort of communication with some sort of uh, advertising company in China so that's that so next thing about this is you have your calendar so if you click that it's going to open up a full fat calendar over here so this is the deep in calendar then you have your power menu you have your onboard I'm, I'm assuming this is like on screen keyboard or something not sure how that works out so because this is a development release I'm expecting it not to work so here you have your battery options so if you click that it's going to open up your battery settings right away then you have your notifications so if you click that it's going to open up your notification center so you can clean your notifications you have like show desktop option like if you open up something if you want to go back to desktop just click that and you're back on your desktop so that's a nice feature so that is deep in desktop environment on fedora rawhide or fedora 35 if you want to call it like that so you can see it's having a beautiful lock screen so if i lock the system you can see it looks like that so that is like a beautiful desktop environment so that's that i hope you all have a wonderful day